Chris. So you don't have to worry about trying to find the right angle on there. If you let that blade actually just run against that wooden riser on the other side, it gives you the absolute perfect angle to go in and seek that undercoat that you're looking okay. for without touching the guard hair. So it's totally you know, okay. dummy proof there yeah. because it, it's like having a training wheel. Isn't that nice That's how it awesome. just comes out? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Cool. And then I'll do the medium first. And then after I get out everything I need with the medium, I can come in and fine tune it with the, the fine. Um, you don't want to use this like a stripping knife because it's not a stripping knife. It's for carding, only getting undercoat because it is extremely sharp and you will cut coat if you try to pinch the hair like using it like a stripping knife. But by able to, by following that wooden riser on the other side, again, it gives you the absolute perfect perfect angle and there's no guesswork whatsoever. It's good yeah. shine, good texture. I mean, I love the finish. This is a must have for any of the English breeds, uh, whether it's an English Cocker, Springers, um, Setter breeds, uh, American Cockers. I mean, anybody where they need to card into that top line, this is a must have. Oh yeah. See, wow. how, see the finish you get off of that is phenomenal. Wow. And it's not touching one piece of that guard hair. All that's coming out is a bulky area from your undercoat. Wow. I love this tool. That's, yeah, this is the best carding tool I have used. <laughs> It's always nice when a company does what they say they're going to do. Yeah. When you come back in with the fine and work just that bulky area, you can fix top lines. Oh, wow. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That's taking out way more hair. Yeah. Holy smokes. It's awesome. So that gives you just an absolute gorgeous finish. Holy smokes. Yeah. Perfect. I love it. All right. So we got another thumbs up from Greta. Wow. Look at all that undercoat oh coming gosh. out of there. And I hate to admit it, but I actually carded him out with another tool last night. <laughs> These are awesome. I know. Wow. I really like the fact, too, that if I'm working on an English breed and I want to sculpt the chest, um, one of the things I like to do is, like, let's say I have a dog that's a little too long in the loin here. And so what I'll do is, instead of following the contour of the body of the dog, I'll start my carding here and I leave this section right there mm. and then so it makes my chest seem like it's actually bigger and my loin shorter. Oh beautiful on neck transitions coming into shoulders. Tricky. Yeah and that's usually a very choppy area for people Yes. and I love the way that this just smooths that down. Especially those hairs that, you know, when we go, go in there with thinning shears and they flip up, yeah. that'll smooth everything down. Yeah. And towel marks. Towel marks, yep. Now, a little trick, okay. a little trick I have to this front here, let me bring your head forward here, is that we want to show good angulation. You got your layback here, your point of your shoulder, and then it should cut back into here where the foot and the leg is actually supporting the dog so now we should have an angle coming in like this now on our clipper work when we do our clipper work right here we have a tendency to put a little too much hair here so you can't see that shoulder lay back so a little trick to get rid of that is I take my thumb and I pull this skin up like this now I'll come in with this stripping this metal stone and I pull this here that's going to pull some of the just you know the tips of the hairs right there and then I drop this down and as I drop this down see how that indented in right there yeah so here uh, and then I'll come back over to here and I'm gonna work in towards the center line of the dog and as I work in towards the center line I'm just grabbing some of these wispies here so I can see my shoulder coming out this way and then cut back like there so I'll eventually over a period of time start working this out so and you just lift the skin up drop it back down and then you see how this starts to fold in like this and you see a yeah. good layback in that shoulder. Okay. okay. Yeah. I can also use this in here where if I want to get a nice smooth transition, I can come in like this and any of those little wispies and flyaways there, I can start to make this smoother as it comes in to the shoulders here by getting rid of some of those hairs that just need to come out. The other advantage to this over using a thinning shear is number one, there's no marks. And number two, I'm rolling coat. So if something happened, whatever the case may be, where this dog blows coat, I've got lots of layers coming in. 
So, okay, so you can give those a shot if you want.